Hello world! In this video, we're going to talk about code editors. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is and how it makes development so much easier. This beautiful piece of software really makes our lives as developers a breeze. <laughs> I will show you the difference between a normal text editor and a code editor. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's start with the very basic option, a text editor. Most computers already have a text editor installed in them. In the case of Windows, this one is Notepad. In the ca case of Mac, it's called Text Edit. As you can see here, Text Edit is the name of the application. So because I'm working with the Mac, I'm going to show you for the purpose of this video using Text Edit to code websites. You can actually do it. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm going to show you what I mean. So first thing that you need to do is you need to change the format. So you need to make that into Make Plain Text. Once that is done, as you see, all the options that were here before are gone. I zoomed in here a little bit to show you what I'm going to be typing. So let's create a basic index HTML file. So we'll do it just very simply like this and we'll add a body and our beautiful H1. Yeah, H1, H1. And here we're going to put, um, I don't know, what's up? We will save this. Since I'm super organized, <laughs> I created this code editor folder in my on my desktop. I'm just going to call this index.html. Now we save this. And as you see, it asks, do you want to use HTML? Yes, I do. So now that I have this, let's actually see if it works. So I'm going to pull my finder where I saved my file. So again, inside of code editor, index.html. And I'm just going to drag and drop this in here. Whoa, and here it is. What's up? Just like that, I have a website. Pretty easy, right? But you probably realized how much typing I had to do. Actually, cool. Also, before we jump into other stuff, I want to show you how I can style things here too. So I would need to create a new um, a new text edit file. Here I create new, and I have to do the same jungle like jumble again, or the same things again. I have to go format, make plain text. As you saw, that is gone. Let me zoom in this for you so you can actually see what I'm writing. So let's see, we want to put our body uh, with this cornflower blue that I like. So let's type body. Uh, and then here I would actually use tabs to put space, right? Because for indentation, so I'm going to hit tab. Oh my God, that's like 10 spaces. I don't know. Here I'll put a uh, back, background color, cornflower blue. I'm going to post this and I'm going to post this. So a few things happened here, right? Let me make this a little bit bigger. So first of all, why the hell is this capital? I don't know. I want it lowercase and it changed this into the British color. Maybe that's my obviously computer settings, um, but it just did it without asking me if I want it to be done or not. So let's save this one again in the same folder and we'll call it index.css and we save it UCSS, correct. Right, so now we have a CSS file and an HTML file, but they're not connected any, in any shape or form. So all our CSS and everything needs to be inside of head. And, you know, I don't really know what the linkage to CSS is by heart, so I just copy it from this website, W3Schools. I copy it here. Let me make this bigger so I actually see. Um, and here, don't worry about this for now. And here we call it, what did we call it? Index, index.css, and we save it. Now let's go back to our index.html file. Now I should have the styles there. My whole background should change from white to this corn flower blue. Bam, fail. Why didn't it work? Oh, again, because there's a space here. <laughs> so let's save this as a space. I hope there's no more mistakes. And now drum roll, bam. It works. <laughs> so you'll see, I could technically keep on building here uh, stuff, but you saw how much I had to type, right? It was really kind of like painful. Um, and this was actually how websites were created back in the day, I believe. Anyway, so here comes code editors to the rescue. If you don't, uh, if you want to know what kind of code editors at code editors are out there, I created a video called uh, Code Editors for Beginners. You can check that one out. Uh, but there, I also reveal that my preferred code editor for the time being, until things change, is Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is a piece of software that you actually need to download. If we go to Visual Studio Code here on the internets, 
Um, yeah, you see, I can download it for Mac. Mac. You can also download it for Windows, and it's pretty cool. So when you first open it, it looks like this, and you say, "Okay, what, what what's going on here?" So it's pretty easy. You just hit Command N or Control N for a new document, right? And here, um, down here, it says plain text by default. But here, I want to write HTML. So I click on HTML, and here it is. So now the cool thing here is that if I hit exclamation mark, and then as you see, there is Emmet abbreviations. Emmet is a plugin that pretty much makes writing HTML so much easier. So you don't need to remember stuff. Everything is kind of like a shortcut. I'll show you what I mean. So if I do the exclamation mark and I hit tab, whoa, the whole thing, let me hide that for a second. The whole uh, structure for what I need for an HTML dom document is right there. And I don't need to worry about that. And remember how I told you that I don't know how to link CSS uh, really? It's because I usually do link, colon, CSS. I hit enter and there I have it, the link, just like that. So obviously this is, this is created to make development so much easier. So let's do this thing here. Let's put an H1. I just type H1, again, tab. And here I put, oh my God, this is so cool. Let's save that one. And here um, I have a, a sites folder usually where I put all my um, projects. Let's just save it. Let's create a new folder here. Let's call it a, a code editor as well. And in here, let's save it. Um, and I didn't give it a name because, you know, I forgot. Oh, God. Sites. <laughs> let's go into Sites Code Editor. Let's just rename this real quick. Uh, well, I can just double click here and then I'll put index.html. Cool, so I already have it here. Now let's take this index.html and drop it again on my browser. Wow, and it's there as well. Isn't that just neat? So here I hid the panel to the right, and if I open it, I can find here my files. I should be able to see my files. Oh, no folder open. So here I need to open my folder actually, which I want to use code editor. Yes, so now that I have it here, I have access to all of my files that are inside that folder. So you need to go here, and from here you can create a new file. Let's create index.css, enter. And you see it's super cool because here you have both files directly. And you can also have plugins that uh, change the icons here. So you know this is HTML and this is CSS. And there are different kinds of plugins that have different icons. It's really a preference thing. So let's do again body. Look at that. I just need to type the curly braces once. And here background color, it already auto-suggested for me. Click enter. Now I have a whole array of colors that I can choose from. So let's say we're tired of this cornflower blue. And then, well, let's try this Indian red. Yeah, why not? Let's put Indian red. We save it. Um, and in here, oh, sorry, inside of index.html, then instead of style.css, we need to type here index.css. Let's save it, refresh it, and there we go. And as you see here, as you add more files and folders, you have everything here at a glance. And again, this has auto, auto complete co color coding and so many other functionalities that I didn't really go into right now because it's a bit more advanced. But all you know is that there is always a um, kind of like a plugin shop where you can find tons, tons of plugins that will help you make or write code in a very, very, very nice way. It's faster. Um, like I said, it has auto suggest. And if you have linters and stuff, it will tell you when you made errors. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that was pretty much the gist of it. I showed you what a normal text editor is, and yes, you can code there, but obviously code editors are so much cooler, aren't they? Again, code editors provide developers with an easy way to develop code. It has autocomplete color coding. There's tons of plugins that you can download to even help you further with your development. There's linters that will actually tell you when you are making a mistake so you can, rect you can correct it while you're coding and tons of other stuff. So if you're serious about development or, or you're in your journey, you're, you are in your journey to learning, uh, yeah, download a code editor and get into it. So if you like this kind of content, again, make sure to subscribe you got that right yeah and if you have any questions really really any questions about s development of uh, any website front end stuff you're struggling with anything please leave them in the comments below i'm here to help you out yeah that's this for you all of this is for you so you can learn yeah so until then i hope you keep on coding and i will see you next time peace